everyone, it's Miss Beryl. Today we're going to be doing some multiplication. We're going to use partial products and we're going to use base 10 paper to show the partial products. I've got a problem all ready for us here. Let's go ahead and read it. Nick read seven pages of his book each morning and seven pages each evening. How many pages did he read in 12 days? All right. So he, we're going to take a look at that. Apparently every morning, uh, maybe before school, he read seven pages. And he also read seven pages each evening. My question was to know how many pages did he read in 12 days? So if he reads seven pages every morning and seven pages every evening, we know that he reads 14 pages a day. But we have to figure out how many pages he reads in 12 days. So in this case, I only have one group of 14. I need to put together 12 groups, or 12 days, with 14 in each day. So I'm just going to think of this as 12 rows of 14, since my rows are my groups. And I'm going to come up here and mark that on my paper. So from here to here, uh, my first 10 days, and then there's the other two days for a total of 12. So I have 12 days, and there are 14 pages read each day. So I'm going to do 10, and then carefully mark my 14 right here. I mean my 4. So there's 10 plus 4, and this is a multiplication. Okay, then I'm going to take a look at this, and I'm going to Think of it as a giant rectangle, or not giant, but as a rectangle. And the reason is, what's ever in the rectangle is going to be my product, sort of like when we do the um, window paint. So I know I have 12 days of 14, no more than 12 days. So my I cannot go past 12 days at all. So I'm going to draw a line like this. I also cannot have more than 14 pages read any day. So I'm going to come down and make my stopper point there. I'm going to trace it like this so it's easier for you to see. Now everything inside this rectangle, every one of these little boxes, if I counted them, it would give me the answer to 10 times 14. But that's going to take a while and there's a lot of things we already know in here. So we're going to just cross multiply to figure this out. Let's take a look at our first area here. I have 10 times 10 and that's going to fill this area right in here. Let me make this a little bigger and I'm going to shade this and y'all know what 10 times 10 already, uh, you already know what that is, but I'm going to shade it in here and that's the first part of my partial products. It's the first part. So we'll mark that as 100. 10 times 10 is 100. So right in here I'm going to mark 100. And I'm going to write it off to the side here as my first partial product. My next one is going to do, I'm going to go right across from it, and this is going to be my 10 times 4. Well, I know 1 times 4 is 4, so 10 times 4 has to be 40. But I can also see here that I have 10 rows with 4, whoops, with 4 in each row, which is 40. So let's shade this in. And then we'll mark that as our 40. After we do that, we're going to go ahead and we're going to get the one right beneath it. Right right here. So, so far I have 100 plus 40. And now I'm going to come and we get this two, two rows of 10. That's kind of easy. Two rows of 10 would be 20. So I'm going to shade in these 20 squares right here. And 2 rows of 10 is 20. And lastly, I'm going to take care of my 2 again, but this time with the 4. So 2 times 4 is going to fill in that um, last little square right here. So 2 rows of 4 is obviously 8. It goes right there. So, 
I now have 100 plus 40 plus the 20 from right there plus 8 and that will give my answer of what 12 times 14 is because that is the entire area here. So that's 8, 4 plus 2 is 6, 1 plus nothing is 1. That's 168. So the answer to the problem, 12 times 14 is 168. So Nick would read 168 pages in the 12 days. If you are interested in checking that problem, you can easily do so using crisscross or box method. And that's it.